Welcome to Support This TV, and damn it, boy, shout out to all my supporters out there. I really appreciate y'all. Let's talk about Plies. Plies is known for his humor and entertaining videos he put up on IG, but let's not forget, Plies is a great rapper. Plies made really good music. Plies went to the Atlantic Records offices in New York, and he took this picture with the caption in it. It says, I only come to this building when I'm ready to go. So this only means one thing, the Purple Heart emojis. Now, Plies got a long-awaited album called Purple Heart. Plies has not dropped a studio album since 2010. He has dropped the acid mixtapes, but no album. So I'm hoping that the album come out, because this ain't the first time Plies has took a picture and it let in records offices. So he put this post up, which is October 12th. And he says, Marky Kellen, I hope y'all ready, because I am. I know you ready, dog, because you ain't dropped the album since 2010. And he been still signed to Atlantic Records all this time. Now, the beauty about this is Plies never complained about Atlantic Records not one time. I don't seen a lot of artists talk shit about Atlantic, but not Plies. Plies sat right down that record label and patiently waited. Now, Ted Lucas also liked this post. Now, Ted Lucas is the owner of Slip and Slide Records, the record label that Trick Daddy made famous, the record label that Trina made famous. Plies is still signing that record label as well, so you know he's ready to go as well. Now, this is a single that Plies dropped way back in like 2011 called Just a Tip that didn't really go nowhere. Here's another one Plies dropped with Luke called Thick. Here's another one Plies did with Rico Love called Faithful. Now, this is a banging ass track. Just a Tip was a good track too, but it's banging. Then he dropped a song Find You with K Camp. He also had a version with Lil Wayne. And then he had dropped this song right here, Blue Honey. Now, this is the song that he got when you know he got slammed in Tallahassee. This is the song that was gearing up the rap before he, you know, um, the slamming occurred where he, you know, reversed the slam and slammed the dude. But that's what everybody was hearing Color Money and all that old shit because of the song Blue Honey. Now, Pies were falling on deaf ears when it pretty much came to his music to the masses, even though he did shows. Atlantic Records really didn't seem like they really was interested in what Plies was doing until he did ran off on the plug twice. Because that's when he made all the fans and all the people who like Plies come back. Even the new the little youngins came to Plies aid when they seen him ran off on the plug twice. But Plies wasn't finished, man. He said, okay, I got y'all attention. Hey, Kodak Black, let's go. He did real hitter. Let's make sure he kept people attention. And he said, you know what? Let me go and holler at another youngin. So he went and hollered at NBA Youngboy and dropped Check Calling. Then, when everybody thought maybe he would stop making hits, maybe Plies would just stick to the Instagram videos, he said, nah, I got a solo song for you, and that's when he dropped Rock. Now, the reason why I put all these singles up and all these graphics, because all those singles at the beginning, before ran off on the plug twice, did not work, and that's one of the reasons why Purple Heart was never released. But since all these other singles has worked, I guess Atlantic Records, Plies and his brother Big Gate Records, Ted Lucas and Slip and Slide Records, everybody's ready to go. And they're ready to drop Purple Heart on October 12th. Now, I hope it come out. I really do because I'm eager to hear it. I commend Plies for being signed to a record label as long as he has and haven't complained. Even though the record label executives has changed, even though they have signed a lot of questionable acts and left him in the sauce, he never complained not one time. And I think that's very commendable. Now let's talk about this Purple Heart album. He even stuck with the title, man. I've been waiting on Purple Heart to do that lap. So hopefully this is a hot album, man. I hope Plies did everything he could to push, pull this thing off, you know. So I think he's going to end up being the X Factor of the year, man. A lot of people wouldn't expect for Plies to come out with a new album right now. And I think he's going to be the X Factor, man. He's going to come out and tear this motherfucker wide open, man. Now all Plies fans remember Plies from the real testament to definition of real, to the realest, always to goon affiliated. It will be Plies' fifth studio album, and he been signed for over 12 years. That's crazy, ain't it? But shout out to Plies, man, for keeping his longevity alive, reinventing himself on IG. Shout out to Plies for not fucking up his money and complaining about the record label. Shout out to all the people that listen to this video this long, because I usually don't like to make my videos this long. But I am AKA Ben. This is Support This TV. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.